Starting a family is a big decision. A test to count a woman's eggs can help determine when to start, unless that very test causes even more stress. KB's Jim Bergamo is here with tonight's Health View. Jim? Well, Terry, the test can actually be a good thing, but it's when a woman takes it and what else she may be taking that can result in a medical disappearing act. You know, this was the ultrasound basically when we did, um, when we were monitoring your ovaries. Ultrasound. It's a tool Dr. Shariar Kavusi and other reproductive endocrinologists use all the time to relay good news to expecting mothers. But before they get to this point, often ultrasound and blood tests are used to determine a woman's egg reserves. And that can cause a problem if she's still on birth control at the time. So the estrogen and the progesterone in the birth control somehow affects the eggs to where they're just not as visible on ultrasound and so you can't count as many eggs on ultrasound or follicles that have eggs in them. The same thing occurs when the AMH blood test is used to determine egg reserves. You can't see them either in the blood test or on the imaging study, that's correct, but they're still there. For Anna Denman of Austin. I'm a little older, so everything is was kind of time sensitive. She'd been on birth control for more than a decade before she and her husband decided to try to have children back in 2011. I had heard that it might take a little longer to get pregnant since you're on birth control for so long just to kind of normalize the body and the cycles again but but I, I had never heard that it could no that it could alter your egg count at all. Fortunately for Denman birth control affecting her egg reserve count is not among the many problems she encountered in the nearly four years she spent trying to get pregnant. She got her count after getting off birth control. Cavusi says many women don't wait so the egg disappearing act can cause unnecessary stress to an already stressful time. So if a patient had these abnormal results and it truly wasn't that way and it was just because of the birth control, then it might cause them to act quicker to try to get pregnant or maybe give them a poor prognosis for pregnancy and cause them a lot of stress when it really isn't warranted to do either at that time. Dr. Cavusi recommends a woman wait at least two weeks after stopping birth control to get her egg reserve tested. He says that's more than enough time to provide to provide an accurate count. Jim Bergamo, KVU News. Pretty simple fix. Interesting. Jim, thank you.